everyone, welcome back to Stella Rose Bella, where I talk about the latest Asian drama music and shows. So today I want to talk to y'all about my first impressions of one of my favorite dramas called Chang Shang Si. So let's get into it. So who is in it? Who plays the character and everything? So first off, obviously I'm watching this drama because of Yang Zi and also Tan Jiu Zi. <laughs> So Yang Zi, she plays uh, Xiao Yao and also uh, Xiao Liu. And then Dan Wan Yi, he plays Chang Xun. Dan Wei, he plays Shi Qi. And also Tu San Jing. Tan Jian Si, he plays Xiang Liu. And there's another actor, he hasn't come out yet. So, and I didn't really like his character in the book. So yeah. Anyways, so let's get into it. So this drama, if you don't know, um, this drama, the author of the book, is actually also the author of Bu Bu Jingxing, also called Scarlet Heart. She is the author of that story, that book. Seems like she also wrote the script for that drama. So for this drama, she also wrote it as well. So the script, any changes you see, is made by the author, okay? <laughs> Just to let y'all know. So let's get into the title of the drama, Chang Shang Si. So Chang is usually like long, I guess literally means like long, but usually describe like the length, the, the time, the like how long it is. So the length of time, I guess, like how long the timing is. So it's like a long period of time. And then Shang Si is like missing, you miss that person. So it's like a very long period of missing someone. So everyone's like, who does Xiao Yao miss? Because at the very end, spoiler alert, <laughs> the person she ends up with is Tu Shan Jing. And so everyone's like, she already has, you know, she ends up with him, like who else does she miss? And I feel like it's Xiang Liu. So you'll understand later, but right now, you might not understand why. So the gist of the drama, you see it's Xiao Yao, the only female lead in this drama, and there's these other characters. And I'm sure some people are like, so what, these characters, like, they're all after this female character and stuff like that. In a way it is, but in a way it isn't what you think it is. So Xiao Yao, um, she was separated from her cousin, who she calls Ge Ge, um, who's actually her Biao Ge. And she was separated from her cousin at a young age. Both of them lost like their parents and everything. And you know, so they didn't have a good childhood and they are royals. So, you know, they have their duties and everything. And because they're separated and she also like was sent to <laughs> somewhere else. And so she didn't like that place. So she's like, I'm just gonna, you know, go out and like, you know, escape for a bit and come back. She thought she was gonna come back really quick, but instead someone basically kept her, locked her up in a place for a very long time. So, and just not nice to her at all. That was what happened to her. And so she finally went to Qing Sui Zhen and she works at a, as a physician in a place called Hui Chun Tang, which is who you see like her as in Hui Chun Tang. And so that's like her, how she starts the story and how this story like starts off. And you see that these two characters, her cousin and her Chang Xun, Ge Ge and her, because of, you know, their parents and they only have like, they only have each other. And they said they're going to be together forever and like all these things. And so they meet again, but it's 300 years later. Okay. So like, and I was like, <sighs> Are you serious right now? But you see why it's like 300 years later and like everything. And things just happen in the world, you know. So like, that's like the gist of it. But the relationship between the other characters, I'll get into it a bit. So let's first talk about Xiao Yao, her character. So as I explained earlier, because of her like experience, like past experience, she doesn't really trust people that often. She, throughout the drama, you will notice that she says these certain things that you can also relate to in real life. Um, there's one line she talks about how like, like there's nobody, like nobody would wait for you. Like not just like 
you know, just like wait for that person to come back or anything. Like nobody's gonna just like stop everything and just wait for that person to come back. Also like in real life, like don't wait for someone, <laughs> dude, you know, just continue your life and everything. So I just feel like that's really relatable. Thing that you see in this drama is that she doesn't rely on people. She doesn't trust people that easily. She doesn't rely on people that um, easily. So like, Everything that she's been through, she's like, I have work, you know, she's an independent woman. She's like, I have work, I live here, I'm like free, I'm like having the best time of my life. If you were like me, you first, you saw the first four episodes when it aired, you will notice, you'll be like, so these are the people that she has to deal with and she may end up with one of them, like what the heck. So first off was uh, Changshun, obviously, cause like, he didn't know Xiao Ya, uh, Xiao Liu, just Xiao Yao. Like so, he, like in his position, he first off he doesn't know this person, and he protects Anian, who's also her his um, cousin. And so, like f from his standpoint, and he doesn't trust people easily either, because if you see in the beginning, like what his mom said to his uncle and all these things, so you see it's complications and you know it's always like this for him he doesn't trust people easily as well and you see <laughs> Shang Liu who does not treat her well when she goes to his army base because first off he's um, a general and like he has people under him and doesn't matter whatever like if someone goes into your base and you don't know this person's like identity and everything Obviously, you have to protect your people and everything. So I feel like a lot of people are like, what? How is even like their relationship with everything? Anyways. And then another thing is Tu Shanjing. When Chang Xuan goes to get the antidote from her and like Tu Shanjing like a couple seconds ago told her like, I'll always have your back. I'm not going to leave you and everything. And then when they came and then she just like turned around, he wasn't there. Like, <laughs> and I was like, what the heck so these all these characters so it was like what I didn't really like it either in the beginning but then later I was like thinking about it I was like they each character has their own like position their own background story and everything this drama in the beginning love is not really the focus point even though it does play throughout like the story but like way in the beginning you see each character's like own position own life and own reasoning that like you're just like is not as important in this story. And as for each of the actors, I actually seen their work before, other than the person that, the character that hasn't come out yet. So Yang Zi, I mean like, I was like, this character is very different from her other characters in a way. So I wasn't really worried. Wan Yi, I have seen his work before. And I was like, oh, so you're playing this character. I was like, this character is like very different from your other characters that I've seen you play. And the way I've seen his other work before and I was like, his, when you see him, when Tu Shanjing, his eyes, like it says a lot and it's like, it's very gentle and all these like things that you see. I was like, oh, little puppy eyes. <laughs> Sorry. And then Jian Ci, Shang Liu, is one of the characters that a lot of readers really, really love. When I read parts of the book, um, and because I've seen like his previous like roles from like being someone that's like a antagonist or someone that's like he played a range of characters, so I was like, okay. I was like, I imagined how he would play the character in like his voice and I was like okay I can imagine how it would be like and I was like yeah he does fit this character and I was just like really really happy when I saw the actual like drama I was like these characters are amazing and I was just like yeah the CG so far I've seen like the cute characters I think it's sort of like a trend now in dramas I think the first time I've seen like cute like animated characters like animals is in Hu Xing so this one is Ma Mao Chiu and the little rabbit and it's like so cute and you know there's actually a fan group <laughs> for the little rabbit cause Mao Chiu just like <laughs> destroyed him so everyone's like we as a group have this service for the rabbit 
I don't know if it's like exactly a rabbit. I don't think so, but it looks like a rabbit to me. And they're like, Mao chills. Like people cannot attend this service. So that's like really funny. But then there's also like the fighting scenes and everything. I'm really impressed with how it's looking so far. Because I haven't seen much of it, but I sort of see it, but not as much. So what I'm looking forward to in this drama is probably a lot of the things from the book that come to life in the drama. Um, I've already, you've already probably seen clips of certain like characters and everything, and it's sort of like really important like parts in the draw uh, in the book, and um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see Xiao Yao and like being with her family and like all these things and all these different characters that will come out later in the drama. So I'm willing to see who else plays these characters. Let me know what y'all think of this drama. Is there a scene that you like? Is there a character that you like? Like who, <laughs> which stand are you standing? Which CP? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.